Are you ready for some hands-on science? Because today we're making parachutes. Have you ever seen parachutes where you live? Maybe you've played with a parachute during recess, or maybe you've seen a skydiver make a safe landing because of a parachute. But how do parachutes work? They do their jobs thanks to something known as drag. Drag happens when something moves through water or air. When any object moves through the air, it pushes on lots of tiny air particles, and those tiny air particles push back. And you may not know it, but you experience drag all the time. Have you ever been swinging on the playground and felt wind in your face? That wind you're feeling is drag. Your body moves through the air and hits the tiny air particles that are in the way and those tiny air particles push back on you. A parachute works by making more drag. For a skydiver, the parachute takes up more space than her body would alone, so more air particles are pushing back to slow her and the parachute down. So now that we know how drag works and how parachutes use drag to slow things down, should we create our own parachute? All right, let's take a look at a parachute and see what we'll need. For the parachute itself, we'll want something round and flat, and something that's light so it doesn't pull us down instead of holding us up. That's a great idea, Squeaks. We'll use a coffee filter. They're round, flat, and very light. Next, what should our parachute be tied to? I think it'd be fun to use a little cup so it can hold something like marbles or maybe a little toy. And to tie our cup to our parachute, we'll need some string. Finally, let's grab some scissors and some tape so we can easily put together our parachute. First, let's ask for some help from a grown-up to cut three pieces of string. And let's make sure that each piece is the same length. All right, that's great. Next, we'll grab our coffee filter and tape the string around the outside edge. For this step, it's important that we space the string evenly around the filter so that there's the same amount of space between each string. After we've attached our string to the coffee filter, we'll tape each end of the string to the cup. And here too, we'll want the strings to be spaced evenly around the top of the cup. And ta-da, we've created a parachute. And you know what's next. That's right, we get to have some fun and test it. Our friend Caitlin said that we could use her balcony to drop our parachutes, so we'll head on up there. But before you drop your parachute from anywhere, make sure that you get permission and ask for help. There are lots of places around your house that you can drop your parachute, like from the top of a stairwell, or you can stand on a chair. Okay, now that we found a good place, we're gonna do a few tests to see how well our parachute works. First, we'll drop one of our little cups with no parachute attached. Then, we'll drop the cup with the parachute attached to see how the parachute helps us slow down our cup. And finally, we'll put our favorite little toy in the cup to see if our parachute can slow that down too. All right, Squeaks, are you ready to see how the cup does on its own? Three, two, one. Oh, ooh, that was pretty quick. And now let's get our parachute ready for launch. Three, two, one. Oh, it's working! That was great! The cup dropped more slowly this time because the parachute created drag between its surface and the air. Okay, here's our last test. Let's add our favorite little dinosaur figure to the cup and give it a go. Three, two, one! Ooh, oof. That was pretty fast. The parachute we have doesn't create enough drag to slow down our toy by very much. And even though our parachute wasn't strong enough for this toy, that's okay. We'll keep experimenting. I think we're gonna try and make a bigger parachute, and maybe one made of a different material instead of a coffee filter. And if your parachute doesn't make enough drag the first time either, get creative. Try out different materials and different sizes. Did you have fun parachuting with us today? We're glad that you joined us, and we're also happy that Google made Making Science helped us make this episode, so thanks Google Making Science! To share your parachute photos and stories with us, grab a grown-up and leave a comment down below, or send us an email to kids at thescishow.com. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time here at the port.